We were on a break! <laughs> oh my God, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna break up with you. <laughs> well, Ross is becoming a dating term in 2020. You heard that right. Now there are all of these bizarre terms that you should know before you go out on your next date. Joining us now is relationship expert, Dr. Gilda Carl. And uh, I don't know if I've ever heard of Ross, uh, but there's a lot of things on this list that I see here uh, that I haven't heard of. So let's get into it. Rossing, I want to use it in a sentence. So we were together, but he went all Ross on me, <laughs> insisting we were on a break. Explain, please, what that means. Well, that terminology simply means that we were dating casually, okay. and you have to define dating casually if you are in the relationship, right, of, course. of course. We were dating casually, and then John asked me out. Okay. So I went out with him too. Okay. Ross found out he was upset. Oh, so you weren't assumed, really. Yeah. yeah, you weren't really a thing. We weren't a thing. We didn't have that oh, conversation. Okay. Okay. Now, again, why should I put out my efforts if I'm not getting any kind of communication back right. that we're a thing? Yeah, we're exclusive. That's right. Okay, let's go to the next term. It's called dog fishing. And oh. I like. I, I love the example, so here's, here's the usage. He dogfished me. I swear I only agreed to a date because he has a cute dog. Oh, please. <laughs> what is that? Ladies, are you gonna marry the dog? Okay. Or, come on. So this I mean, is, these, you're, you're dating these, somebody because they have a cute dog. Is that a thing? That's, well, sometimes oh, that's gosh. a thing. And they post these oh, on their profile no. pages. They have themselves with their dog, oh. as though that's the most meaningful thing in my life. I can't even believe that's a thing. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on now. If you are, uh, you know, maybe married and you have kids and then you're out of the marriage, you will know what this means. Elsid. <laughs> Well, if, if you're a fan of Frozen, you're a you fan of Frozen, know you that. know. So okay. here's the usage: it went from chatting every day to nothing. He totally elsed me. Right. He froze you out. Uh, <laughs> is it what only, do you do when that happens? Is it only the guys who freeze women out? <laughs> I, women don't do that. I, when they just disappear. They used to be called ghosting. So well, now it's so now we have 2020 okay, terminology, yeah, yeah. and that's why I wrote <laughs> how to be a stress-free, worry-free yes, woman. Yes, and we're going to talk about it in okay. a second. So when all these things happen to you, uh, what is it? Uh, dog fishing, Rossing, <laughs> Elsid. What is the proper reaction to those things? If you get Elsid, said I think you just got to get rid of the relationship I mean uh, in the how, early stages how about communication yeah. we don't have anything any terminology <laughs> for that good healthy communicate let's have a discussion as to what do you think the status of our relationship oh, is gosh. I'm so happy I'm not doing that anymore <laughs> Kinuing. Oh. Kinu Reeves. What oh. does that even mean? What is Kinuing? Well, Keanu has a new girlfriend. Okay. And that's good because after his, his ex partner, uh, oh, there his he late is. partner, uh -huh. died yes. uh, in a car crash, I mean, he has been kind of on his own. And he now has paired up with a woman who doesn't look like Hollywood. She's. I don't think I know about this. What What does oh, that yeah? even mean? She's very refined. She's an art, an, an artist. She's a philanthropist. She's very high up in her status. Okay. And these two became friends working together on a project mm -hmm. or many projects before they became romantically involved. Oh. So that's the, it has to be, my Gildagram is friendship first, okay. lovers later. Okay. later. So you want to be key nude. Well, yeah. I, <laughs> listen, this is like George Clooney okay. with Amal. Okay. I mean, I, I, I loved when I heard that, he decided no more of these Hollywood beauties okay. because he went for depth. Oh. Somebody who had a, an advanced okay, degree okay. and somebody had a real life. I like it. Yeah. And all of these tips, now you wrote a book and this is, uh, you know, if you're entering the dating world again, this is how to be a stress-free, worry-free woman. This is for the women and look how small the book is. 
It's a quick read, and yep. you're all you're all ready after this. Yes. All right. That's right. Thank you so much for the oh, tips. It's always okay, a pleasure. Okay, so April, if you're dating, you want to be key nude, but you don't want to be Keanu. Keanu. Ke we're all Ke yelling Ke at Keanu. You over I'm here. sorry. It's Keanu. it's a verb now. Excuse me, guys. If only he knew. <laughs> and Elsa. You do not want to be Elsa. Or dogfish. Or dogfish. Okay. Got, got it. it. Taking notes. Got okay. It. Who's who's got in it. there correcting me? Keanu. All of, all of us are yelling at the TV. I Sorry, <laughs> I've never used his name as a verb. <laughs> 2020. 2020. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Yana. Ooh, that's a tough crowd. <laughs> not yet his favorite actor. We have determined this morning.